with the addition of chemical elements. Heat treatment is probably the most important process in controlling the properties of metal. It involves heating solid metal to a defined temperature followed by a suitable cooling rate in order to achieve the desired material properties. Heat treatments are primarily conducted to either soften or harden the steel, depending on its final application and manufacturing process. This softening treatment is often referred to as a conditioning process and will lower strength and hardness while increasing toughness and ductility. Conditioning includes two heat treatments, cold annealing and normalizing. Conditioning treatments can be used to obtain the final properties of a steel or it can be used as an intermediate step in order to ensure that the material will not crack following rolling, casting, forming or forging. It can also be used to get the material into a state to aid in machining. In both normalizing and annealing, the material is heated to the austenite range and then slow cool. This is done in still air for normalizing and in a furnace for annealing. A normalized structure can also be tempered to alter the properties slightly. Any gases that need removing, for example hydrogen, will be done as part of this process. Both treatments leave the material homogeneous, soft and ductile. But because normalizing is cooled in air, the strength and hardness of this structure will be greater than the annealed one. Some nickel alloys and stainless steels are used in the annealed condition to aid in corrosion resistance. Due to the slow cooling rates present in normalizing and annealing, a perlite structure is likely to form. Perlite consists of alternate lasts of iron carbide, also known as cementite, and a pure iron structure called ferrite. During cooling, the austenite, which has higher solubility for carbon, starts to turn to ferrite. But because this ferrite cannot accommodate the higher concentration of carbon, the structure develops in alternate laths of cementite and ferrite. This perlite is often present with ferrite, and depending on the carbon content, the perlite and ferrite will be present in differing ratios. An annealing process used in cold rolling or forming is a subcritical or process annealing. This is used to reduce the internal stresses after manufacture or to enable further processing. In this process, the steel is not heated all the way up to the austenitic range, but is heated just below the ferrite to the austenite transformation temperature, usually around 500 degrees to 650 degrees Celsius or 930 degrees to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. The material is then held for the desired amount of time to cause softening through structural changes, primarily grain recrystallization and grain growth.